Hey, royal family. How are you guys doing? First off, welcome back to my channel. Second off, I have 62 subscribers now. Yay! If I could make confetti come down and balloons and stuff, I would do so. I'm so excited. It seemed like I was at 50... Probably 57 for the longest, okay? But um, I appreciate... All of you subscribers, the people who just keep coming back to watch, um, make sure that you guys subscribe. My analytics still say that I have lots of viewers, but they're not subscribed. So um, make sure that you guys subscribe. Uh, make sure that you guys share and make sure you guys um, like the videos too. Also leave comments. I want to hear from you guys and I don't hear anything but crickets. So I have my notebook it's probably a different one from the one i used to show you guys but i have tons of notebooks i like to write so i'm going to um be just talking this i'm calling wine thursdays and on wine thursdays i'm just gonna come to you guys and just talk you know i do a lot of the videos and stuff but i kind of don't talk that much as like personal stuff or like letting you guys know what the tea is like what's really going on in my life so um i decided i would do wine thursdays and give it a shot it won't be like every thursday hold up slow down not every thursday but from time to time when i have a lot on my plate i'm just gonna bring it to you guys just to share you know what i'm saying excuse me Whew. okay so as always, you know, I'm cooking dinner. I'm frying up some potatoes. Hold on, let me cut the flame down. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had to... I'm writing down stuff that comes to mind in case if I forget something that I want to share. Okay, so... Oh, gosh, it's so... Hot. I'm also baking chicken wings. I didn't have any grease to fry them, so baking them, baking's always better. Um, let's talk about depression. I've been going through depression. I don't know why people act like it's such a big deal, like it's such a top secret hush hush thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, people are afraid to talk about it. I don't know why, but I've been going through depression. I call it the blues. That's when, to me, I'm no doctor. But to me, it's when everything is good in your life. You have nothing to complain about, but you feel down. Like, Debbie Downer. Like, down. And, um, I just feel down. I feel like, just sad. Just down. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, I just want to be alone. I just want to sit quietly. I just don't want to have to think about anything. I just don't want to have to deal with any of the issues that I'm going through. I just feel down. And to some people, the issues that I'm going through will be like, girl, that's all you're going through? What? Let me tell you over here what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? But God gives everybody what they can bear. You know what I'm saying? So, I also think of that. And that makes me depressed. Because I think some people are going through more than I am. Why am I down? Why am I complaining? Like, but even the smallest things, you know, you could bring to God. And he'll take care of. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. I'm going through this depression. And I'm going to tell you guys things that occurred. And um, that I've been going through. So, anyway, first off, my friend Crystal passed away. Um, she had been sick for years with renal failure, you know, kidney disease. And I honestly thought she was going to get better. Now, I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys. Like, I'm always going to keep it 100 with you guys. And I really thought she was going to get better. It's been, it was years that she was going through this. And I just really thought 
she was going to get better. And so it really, really hurt me when she wasn't getting better. And I would talk to her daughter, Monique. Her and I are close. And I would talk to her, and she would let me know, you know, my mom's back in the hospital, yada, yada, yada. I'll be like, I've been texting her. I've been calling Crystal. I haven't gotten a response. What's going on? Oh, she's in the hospital again. And all of that. And it was just like, wow, you know, these hospitals' days are getting longer. And it just, it made me, it, it was like, it just, I was sad. So, I um, went to go see her, but they wouldn't let me in because she was um, doing dialysis. And I wanted to be able to see her because um, Monique had told me that her mother was in the hospital again and it didn't look good and yada, yada, yada. And I wanted to get to see her, you know. But they were doing dialysis that day, and so they wouldn't let me in. It was going to be like three to four hours and... I went up the road, we were going out of town the next day or whatever, so that Sunday we were out of town, um, Monique texted me and told me that her mom had, they were taking her off her life support and her mom had passed away, you know, it hurt, I'm going to keep it out, 100, it hurt, me and Crystal, we didn't talk every day. I ain't gonna sit up here in front like we was the best of friends. But we were close. We didn't talk every day, but we talked enough that we knew enough about each other's life. Like, it's been 20 some years that I've been knowing them. And it was always the Lampkins and the Lovicks. The Lampkins and the Lovicks, um, which was my previous last name. And um, me and her used to joke all the time about competition. And our kids, what they're doing, and da 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 da. Oh, the Navigan Lovers, we're always, you know, our students, are, our children are the best students. And me and her just became close. We would talk and talk about things. And it was just, it really hurt me. So, and her four children are amazing. They did such a wonderful job. Crystal raised them to be so close. And. They fight and everything like regular siblings do, but their their bond is so strong, and the way they looked out for their mother was really touched. It really touched me, and um, just they're just young, and they did a wonderful job. You know what I mean? And I think about that, like I just think about that. Um, her youngest daughter's graduating this year, having prom this year. You know what I mean? And it's like. You know, so, yeah, that really hit home, and it really just affected me, made me sad, but then I thought, you can't be sadder than the children are, you know what I mean? Her children are sad, so it's not about you, so, um, then, it was a shooting at my daughter's school, and she goes to Great Mills. And the shooting at my daughter's school. I'm asleep on the bus, right? On the bus. Knocked out. I'm getting a whole bunch of texts. I didn't realize it until I woke up. And then I sent all these texts from Alicia. And she's like, Mom, something's going on for our school. Um... We're on lockdown now. Like, these are different texts. We're on lockdown now. The police come in with guns saying, put our hands up. Um, we heard a loud bang. The teacher said it was a locker being slammed. I don't know what's going on. Um, then we're being bused to another school. It was just like, repeat, repeat, repeat. And I'm so glad that my king was home from work and he was able to get to her and um, be there for her. I'm thankful for that. Um, so a guy and a girl broke up, high school students. Um, he came in the school with a gun, shot her in the head, then killed himself. And, um, an innocent bystander was shot, and shot as well. So, um, they end up taking the young lady off of life support and she passed away. The young guy who did the shooting, he died as well. Um, it was sad. 
Now, my daughter it has anxiety issues. She can hardly sleep at night. She's just... Concerned, just scared, you know what I mean? So, um, they end up keeping school out until after spring break. So, they went out like a week before spring break or something like that. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a sad ordeal. A family lost their child. I felt sad for the family. Um, it was sad. A parent should never have to bury their child. So, it was a sad ordeal. Really sad. Um, not too long after that, so, you know, Crystal passed away. Not too long after that, it was the school shooting first, actually. Then not too long after that, Crystal passed away. Then not too long after that, my niece had dropped my daughter off at um, Sky Zone where they were going for my other niece's birthday celebration. And my niece was looking for a parking spot. And she gets hit by a drunk driver. They had to cut her out the car, airlift her to the hospital, the whole shebang. And um, that was a scary ordeal. I was trying to be so strong for my sister. And I would get in the car with my king and then talk about it and talk about it. And I would get home and go in the bathroom and then I would cry about it. But my sister would break down and I would be there telling her, you know, praying for her and just telling her that I was there, you know, we're going to be okay through this. And just telling her the things, being the big sister. And I was tore up inside. Tore up up inside you guys but I couldn't let it show so I just hung in there you know my mom's calling me like make sure you check on your sister make sure you stay up there with your sister and I'm like okay you know okay yes ma'am I'll do that but I was hurt too this is my niece I've known her since she was a baby I'm hurt. Please don't drink and drive people. Like, I'm not innocent. I've done it before. I've done it before. I can't say the parents that I haven't. But I will tell you, that was, oh my God, so long ago. I was so reckless. So reckless. So reckless. But God. You know what I mean? But God. So... But now that I'm older, it's like, listen to me. Believe me. Don't do it. <laughs> um, it's going to be a long haul or a long road for my niece as far as recovery goes. Thank God that she's still here. You know what I mean? And, but thank God Alicia wasn't in the car. When I saw the pictures of the car, she wouldn't have been here. She wouldn't have been here. So, my niece came home yesterday and she's doing good. She's walking good. She's talking good. And um, she's going to be all right. She's going to be all right. My sister is a very strong woman. Very strong. I've told her this numerous times. I can't tell her enough how strong I think she is. Like, I'm the big sister, but my sister is like 10 times as strong as I am. So, yeah. That was that. Okay. So, visiting my grandma. We went to see my grandma for Easter. I hated leaving my sister and my niece, but we had already um, planned the trip, and so we decided to go ahead and go. I asked my sister if she needed anything, if she'd be okay. She said yes. Um, so we left, went to visit my grandma. 
My grandma is my angel here on earth. I'm telling you, the sweetest lady ever. <sighs> Always so upbeat. Always so happy. It was a surprise when we went to go vi to, for the visit. So, um, didn't get to see any body but family. Not that I have a lot of friends there. It's my friend Felicia, Fidemo, and my homeboy Jermaine. Other than that, I don't have any friends in Ohio. So, we got up there to visit my grandma. And it was nice. And I'm so glad that I went. But my grandma kept talking really sad stuff. Like, I'm all alone. It's just me. You know, my Uncle Robert passed away. He was the last, her last living sibling. And um, I know that has to be tough. So she kept saying stuff like, it's coming to an end. Um, just really sad. Just, she was really sad. She laughed and giggled, you know. We had her laughing and talking and giggling and stuff. But I could just tell that she was sad. I hate the fact that my grandmother lives alone. That's another thing that I hate. So, of course, I've asked her to come stay with me a few times. So I've asked her. I, I asked, asked her again. And, um... She laughed it off, so. But it was good to see her, and um, I have to get back there more often so I can see my grandma. I just hated the fact that she was all sad and talking like Cardi B. Cardi B's album is lit. If you don't have it, get it. Her um, I had her mixtapes. Well, the both two of them, they were really good. I liked them. Um, this album is very, very good. Get it if you don't have it. Fashion Nova. The relationship Fashion Nova and I have formed. This emoji. Well, it's not just Fashion Nova. It's Thread Up, too. Might as well put that in the same category. I have been managing my money so well, and I'm so proud of myself. But, since I've been down, I'm resorting to kind of like my old ways, which is shopping. I had a major, major issue with it years ago. And it, it comes from when I'm depressed and I'm down. If I buy something, it makes me feel good. You know what I mean? So... My king was like, somebody's balling. Somebody's getting a package every day. And I'm like, oh, I know, right? I know, it's bad. It's bad. So I've been shopping like crazy on Fashion Nova, just getting stuff ready for the summer and thread up. I've been getting like the goodie boxes. Fashion Nova, I heard Cardi B just um, did a deal with them. She'll be coming out with her own line of clothes. I like Fashion Nova. Their jeans fit me so good. So bomb. <laughs> okay, my niece Cookie has moved in with us. She um, moved in March. March. So um, she's found a job down here. And she has decided that um, she'll probably look for an apartment down this way too. So, which is good, which makes a lot of sense. Because at first, her trying to work here, then go back up there and look for another job after she got an apartment just seemed ludicrous to me. But um, my niece is 20. So, you know, when you're 20, and you got your whole world, man, your whole world mapped out. Or so you think. So, um, I'm glad that she came to that understanding that, hmm, it makes sense to look for an apartment down this way. So I wish her nothing but the best. And Auntie is here for her. And um, she's just here stacking her bread and just going to save up so she can get out on her own. It was kind of tough at first because my kings never had anyone live with him. And um, like as far as family members. So it was kind of a tough road at first. But things are going smoothly now. My bus ride. 
just for some wild shit, okay? So this dude gets on the bus and I'm on my way home. He playing this music all loud, rap music and stuff. So the bus driver stops the bus. The bus driver's like, you gonna have to, well, first of all, the bus driver's driving. He's like, you're gonna have to turn that down. Dude doesn't. You're gonna have to turn it down. Dude doesn't. So the bus driver stopped the bus, walked to the where he was, sitting behind me of all seats, okay? Dude, you're gonna have to turn that down or put your headphones in or something. So dude's like, okay, okay, I'm trying to put my headphones in. It's not working, woo, woo, woo. Okay. So he walks back to the front of the bus. My angels, who protect me each and every day, sit from God, said, get up, just get up. Go to another seat for some reason. And I didn't listen, I stayed in my seat. I told myself I wasn't gonna fall asleep with him behind me. So, I ended up falling asleep. Dude went like this to my head. Like, if you guys can hear it, it was like hard enough to wake me up. Like, not a soft tap or like you stroked my hair. It was like, I turned around. I was like, what? Like that. And he's looking at me. It is dark on the bus. He has this overhead light on. He's just looking like Chester the cat, you know, from Alice in Wonderland, like smiling all crazy. So I moved my seat and I text my king. And I'm like, that, that fool that just, I told you about getting on the bus. Well, he just hit, tapped me on top of my head. All my king said was, where are you at? Simple as that. I told him my destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to keep him updated, like, where we were, but he never responded back not one time. I get to the, we get to our bus stop, and dude gets off the bus. He's like, hey, shorty, hey, shorty. I'm like, ain't no shorty. Like, ugh, ain't no shorty. Like that. And um, he was, like, shaking his head, laughing or whatever. So he started walking to his car, walked to my car. Here comes my king, right in front of me, like a movie. I'm like, where the hell you come from? And then he got the car, he said, where he at? So I showed him where dude was. He went over to dude. They had words, well basically my king had words because dude was totally shook, okay? So dude gets in, trying to get in the car on his driver's side, he can't do it. He gets in the car on his um, passenger side and then he sits down. So I'm thinking, like I always think like, oh my God, what if he has a gun in his glove compartment? So I'm like, come on, babe, let's go. And then he, my babe was like, go get in the car. So I went and got in the car. So my king and him had words and I heard my king telling him like, dude's copping, talking about something. I didn't touch her. I'm trying to make money, woo woo woo. And my husband's like, if she said you touched her, you touched her. Don't touch her again. You see that right there, that's mine. Yada, yada, yada. Bam, bam, boom. Words were said, I will not repeat. And, um. That was that. I've seen the guy since. Um, he just looked at me. He hasn't said anything. So I do know one thing. He can follow directions. Okay. Um, love junkie. Okay, so my girl Misha, the one who did my hair and my girl's makeup for my wedding and cut my first haircut and... Um, dyed my hair blonde that Misha from Zill Salon um, has really grown like really grown she does this like single mixer and all that jazz and um, she's really grand has expanded so she came out with her cosmetic line called Love Junkie and I didn't get to go to the opening I was really upset about it. I can't remember what stopped me from going, but I didn't get a chance to go. And um, I kept telling myself I was going to order something from her. I have to support her. I have to support her. You know, we women, we just have to sit together. So I have to support her. So I went ahead and um, had some extra money, so I ordered. And I went to go pick it up. That way I could see her and see the salon and everything. And um, it's really beautiful in there. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Just the little different things she did, the mirrors, and it's really beautiful. If, if you guys gotta check out Zill Salon, I'll put the address below. Okay, how about that? But anyway, I want to go pick up my items and let me share with you guys. I got this, um, you see the box? 
This is called MVP. And it's a, I like the frosted glass. You see it? I hope you guys can see it. And it's like a, it's matte. It's a matte red. So, let's see. That's what it looks like. I hope you guys can see that. I should have did it on my other hand. Bum, but anyway, it's that. You guys see it? Pretty. And it's matte. Then I got this one. It's called Girly. And this is a lip gloss. And it's just a gloss, so... It's just a gloss. It has like a hint of peach, if you can see it. Probably can't see it, but it's there. I can see it. It smells good, too. Yeah. Put this on my box. And then I got a lipstick. It's called Bestie. See it at the top? Yep, that color. Those are the colors I got. Money back, money back, money back. Yeah, I'm listening to Cardi B, sorry. Well, I ain't sorry. Sorry, I ain't sorry. And then this is my t-shirt. I don't want to get the lipstick on it. I love my t-shirt. says love junkie can you guys see it and then it has a definition of love junkie um a beautiful soul addicted to love is that so cool work to down this or not work Okay, before I go into my to work, I went in there to wash my hands so I can get the lipstick off. I'm telling you something about this, that red one, the first one I put on, the MVP. When you put that on your lips, you can drink all you want to drink. You can eat all you want to eat. It ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Can you see it? And that's after me washing my hands and I was doing like this and it got on my other hand. Like... There's some good stuff. Okay. Wow. Look at the way. This is serious. Well, that's what I like. I hate when I'm eating something or when I'm drinking something and then it's all half off and all around my mouth. Ugh. But anyway, so work. Still feeling, feeling unappreciated. Still looking. Still. Yeah, I'm still there. All right. That ends our Wine Thursday. You guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget, please subscribe, like these videos, leave me a comment, and share some love, some peace, and a smile.